Here is a quick video on DVD drives for laptops and they all look different to each other. Actually they only come in very limited styles. So the heads, the heads of the DVD drives and the rear connectors are what's actually different. Apart from that they're all pretty much the same. Only thing you need to uh, factor in or think about uh, when you buy these is the thickness. So they come in a much slimmer model and also the standard size like these. And also some of them have a different type of tray ejecting style, like where the uh, slot style, where it sucks in the CD or DVD, and the other ones where the tray comes out. So you'll need to, if you haven't already um, uh, ejected the DVD drives, you'll, you'll need a long pin like a needle like this, and there's a little pinhole which you'll need to just gently push in and get it at the right angle and the tray will come out. You'll need to do this to remove the heads because heads are just dial options and they're different for every laptop. So example the one on the right is what we're going to keep and so I'm going to swap the uh, head on the left side and also the back and uh, little screw holder on the left DVD drive onto the right side. So that's how you take out the DVD drive trays if you haven't already taken it out. Um, so what you'll need to do first thing first is take the uh, the back end uh, screw brackets out. Now the screw holes are always universal, meaning they're the same, but the style of the mount is different, so you don't lose it, otherwise you can't buy these separately. So gently remove the two screws, or three screws depending on the model, some have even only one, and swap it over to the new one. So keep it the same position like that. Now I'll need a more powerful screwdriver here. Here we go. Nope, not coming out. Okay, let's get the big boy in. Now the front um, frames, so there is actually only two clips holding it, so one over here, oops, there's a toy uh, movie DVD in there, some kid is crying somewhere out there, uh, okay, so two clips, so one here and one here, so I recommend doing this one first, as it's much easier, but uh, for some reason I'm doing the, um, the harder one on the right hand side first. So you'll need some uh, maybe sharp tweezers or a, uh, if you've got a prying tool like a plastic really hard one that will also do. So this will be easier to do. Um, here we go, let's see. Just push that clip in and you should be able to pop the tray out a little bit. Be really careful, don't touch the laser or the mechanics on the inside. There we go, that's out, and there we go, you should be able to just be careful, don't poke your finger, there we go, that came out nicely, and here we go, same process here, so here I should have done the one on the left side first instead of here, so this is going to be a lot of force, so you can actually damage the drive if you're not careful. Now putting these back is actually very easy, so slide one end and then slide in the other end. So
Some have another clip in the middle, so be careful, observe your drive, see where the clip collectors are, and just slide it back into position. There we go, nicely done. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.